Well, they help you keep up with your health and well-being. And this weekend, physicians across the country are being recognized on National Doctors' Day. And so we want to give a shout out to two local doctors making a difference here in Connecticut. Dr. Niemi Wilson, the head of breast health program at Hartford HealthCare's Cancer Institute, and Dr. David Shapiro, a general trauma surgeon and critical care doctor at St. Francis Hospital. Both say that they were drawn to medicine at a very young age. My mother is a psychiatrist, my father is an ENT, and I think I really got hooked when I was 14 years old and I went to the operating room with my father one day and I watched him place ear tubes into a six-month-old baby. I had a, um, a, a sibling who wasn't well when she was born and lots of exposure to those doctors that took care of her overall really just drew me to the field. I saw um, injury and accidents when I was younger and really felt that I wanted to be one of the people that, that took care of those people. And in their careers, they have found so much joy in being able to help others. It makes you feel good because they've left the hospital in a better situation. Um, none of it could be done without the team that sits around you, though. They're just an incredible group of people. It's also a, a huge honor for me to be trusted by them to take care of them. But we all know the pandemic took a toll on healthcare providers, but burnout has been an issue in the medical field since long before COVID. The Association of American Medical Colleges projects there will be a shortage of between 18 and 48,000 primary care doctors by 2034. And for non-primary care physicians, it's even bigger. According to the Association of American Medical Colleges, Connecticut is not doing great either. In 2020, we only retained 19% of physicians from undergraduate medical education. Out of the 49 states analyzed across the country, we ranked 41. For graduate medical education, with only 35% of students staying, that made us rank 45th out of 49. The numbers show it, but these doctors also say burnout is a challenging reality, but there are supports in place to help people in the field. I guess the dream version of being in medicine where you get to come in, help someone, and then go home and have your um, family and the balance of life and work that you can have together. And really, you can have that these days. We recognize it in the healthcare profession that we have to make people live their lives. We have to give them the experience they want and still be able to deliver healthcare to people. And the doctors encourage anyone interested in medicine to pursue a career that can really make a difference in patients' lives. Patients are putting a huge amount of trust into my actual hands, and um, and I don't take that for granted for a split second. So I, it is a two-way street. You know, they uh, they appreciate me, I appreciate them. We take care of each other, um, and I'm so grateful to be in the field that I'm in and to be able to take care of these women and men, some men as well. Remember, National Doctors' Day is Saturday.